The CME group beat Wall Street estimates for the second quarter on the top and bottom lines, but still the stock is trading down today. Here to talk about the company and the stock is Ken Leon from S&P Capital IQ. Welcome, Ken. And tell me, what's going on? Why is the stock under pressure? They beat by four cents and profits were up 27%. Stock has had a great run up this year. You know, it's up over 40%. Uh, the second half of this year still looks very good. Uh, it's always a question of this, this company really drives on volatility. Uh, quiet summers into August might be one of the reasons everyone's taking a breather. Stock also moved up while interest rates moved up. Seems like a lot of people are betting on what the Fed's going to do, and they benefit from that, right? Well, the, the interest rate complex um, is the powerhouse for CME, and any uh, increases in, in, in rates over the next year or so, and we saw that in May and June, CME benefits with higher trading volume, both on the upside and downside. So uh, that's good for CME, and um, you know, obviously, as we see treasuries and other interest rate instruments uh, trade up, uh, that's going to be more volume for the CMA. Oil trading also good. Can you explain why? Very interesting area for CMA. Uh, for two years, uh, one of its competitors, Intercontinental Exchange or ICE, dominated with Brent Oil. What we've seen uh, with WTI uh, in the U.S. is that there's now price parity. So as we saw more global traders in energy move into WTI, that benefits again the trading volume for CMA. Will the CME benefit from what's going on with regard to the commodity warehousing problems you're seeing right now at JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs? They seem to be, uh, to be forced to divest themselves from that business. So is that going to push more business onto the CME? It's a good question. It did come up on the earnings conference call today. Uh, and it's a question of can CME benefit from, let's say, potentially lower tr trades or commerce trades with the physical commodity uh, and moving to the futures contracts. So potentially uh, for those that have to hedge or protect trade in commerce or speculate, uh, futures might go up uh, if there's some way a limitation of playing the physical commodity. So it, it may be a, a positive on the upside for CMA. So putting it all together, heading into the third quarter, stocks run up around 20% over the course of this summer. What do you do with it here? You know, CME still has a very attractive uh, product offering. Uh, it, it's not as exposed to the declining cash equity business, although that's done well recently. Uh, it's got some horsepower for growth ahead uh, as it expands globally, and they're opening up a London exchange later this year. All right. Thanks a lot, Ken. Thank you.